السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته كم باك اجين افتر يو فينيش ذا ليكتشر توكن ان عربيك فيو مينيتس اجو ا وي كونغراتليت يو ويز ا نيو يير اجين اند وي هوب ذات اول يور ييرز ويل بي هابي اند يور دايز اند يور ويكس اند يور مانث اند ايفريثينج لاست ويك وي توكت اباوت ماي اكاونت اند اي بوت ماي اكاونت فور 2018 بيفور يو توداي We are going to discuss this subject. This subject, which is global changes are local. I think my colleague did not put the people who are helping me. It is Abd Rahman Nahas and Ahmed Sheikh, Ahmed Sheikh from Idlib and Abd Rahman Nahas from UK. Thank them. Why we call global changes are local? Why I am choosing this subject to discuss today with you? At the first week of the 2019s, why? Because each one of us, including you, young men and women, including you, teenagers, including you, old men and old women, including you, housewife, retired people, people on pension, you can make the change. Whether you are educated. or not educated whether you are whether you are living in the middle of a very advanced society or a very backward society does make any difference but you can make that change and any global change starts local if i give you some examples of the great football players maybe in liverpool somebody now coming from Egypt is named Muhammad Salah. He started in a very, very small team. Nobody knows even the city where he came from. Manu, the same team. He came, I think, from Cameroon or from another African country. Drogba, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and, 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 and. Came from very poor community, but they made the change globally. And they became the superstar of this game okay don't look at them just as superstar but look at the effort they took to make the change and to put their fingerprints on the sport as a game or the football as a as, as a sport sorry the five steps we need to follow foundation step then directions of social empowerment Then the gradual steps, which is building A, building the foundation of national industrial craftsmanship, B, building the foundation of national agriculture, dairy products, and meat industries. Number five, which is the ultimate result. Why I'm talking about craftsmanship and agriculture? Because a few weeks ago, we talked about the civilization created between Euphrat and Tigris. river in Iraq, whether it was in Syria nowadays or in Iraq nowadays, on the river Nile. It was built and based on the craftsmanship as well as the agricultural product. So from these two basic industries, they managed to build society, to build community, to build a great nation, to build renaissance, to build civilization. and to build science and technology which is more advanced than the science and technology of nowadays from agriculture and craftsmanship the people are skilled people the skilled people no oil no gas nothing 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 they were so advanced ahead of us even up to now because they have gone done, done they have done something which you can't do nowadays if you go to the inca In, in, in uh, Latin America as well. They built great civilization. China, Japan, everywhere. The Greek and the Roman, everywhere. Based on this, skilled professional workers and agriculture. Build the industry, build the army, build the economy, build the renaissance and build the civilization and science and technology at that time. What do you mean by foundation sta uh, stage? You and me, 
If we look back, I want to be a part of the change maker of the society, as a local society, of my country, as a, as a country, of my continent, as a continent, of the global. I would like to have a global impact. This is exactly what happened to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was not qualified from universities like you. Who could not be able to read and write, but he had the vision. He wanted to save humanity by spreading the message of God from, from, si from, from, from north to south and west to east of the globe. That means he has a dream. Like if, 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 if remember the dream of Martin Luther King of America, Dr. Martin, the late Martin Luther King of America, I have a dream. And his dream became true in this century. And the president of the United States of America was a black African president. Martin Luther King had it. Uh, Gandhi had it. Ali Isa Begovic had it. Malcolm X had it. Chi Jifara had it. And so on, so on, so on, so They have a dream. They change the dream. And each one of you must change your dream into an idea. And you believe in your idea and your dream to drive it. If you don't believe in your dream and your idea, you will never be able to drive it. Then you start to learn the skills. Actually, to make your dream reality. And from there, you have to be determined, persistent, that you are going to succeed. Whether you are an old man, old woman, houseman, uh, housewife, retired, young people, young girl, young boy, or even teenager. You should have a dream. And you believe in it and you should drive it persistently. With determination. This is the foundation. If we don't have this, we cannot go to the other four steps. Direction of social empowerment. What do you mean by direction of social empowerment? I'll tell you something. If you look at the economy of our country, look at what's been written here. Building a stronger local economy means building a strong, empowered, independent society. If we can feed ourselves, if we can manufacture our clothes, if we can build our houses, if we can control our transportation and make it local, we will be able to become independent, empowered society and strong society. Without being able to feed yourself and all your food is being impor imported from abroad, you will never be independent. Your political decision will never be independent. It will be controlled by who is feeding you. Crawled controlled by who is sending the furniture to you, manufacturing your clothes, manufacturing your carpet, your garments, everything. So you are not independent. You become independent. That's why all the great countries are the superpower. They are producing all the essential food material locally. No matter what is the weather in their country, they do not depend on a friend to send them the wheat, send them the clothes. They are producing it locally, locally, locally. Not only that, but they are trying to control the agricultural industry in poor countries, such in Africa. If you look to Central African Republic, if you look to Cameroon, if you look to uh, Democratic Republic of Congo and others, you find a lot of foreign countries are in control of the agricultural industry of these countries because they don't want them to compete with the agricultural industry in them, in their countries, and they want to control the productivity of the land. There are two foundations for building a strong national economy and the philosophy of thinking is gradualism. You have to do things gradually. Nothing will happen overnight. Nothing will happen overnight. First one, building the foundation of national industrial craftsmanship, skilled workers. We would like to have as many skilled workers and many professions as we can. The second one, building the foundation of national agriculture, dairy product, and meat industries. As you can see, Holland, you can see not only Holland, you can see Norway, you can see Denmark, and so on and so on. Okay, building these two. If we talk about gradually building the foundation of national industrial craftsmanship, it was skilled workers, plumbers, carpenters, 
electricians, mechanics, and so on, painters, builders, all this. How to start this process? It's about 18 points. First, because I believe in myself, I have to start learning in a workshop, learning the craft, the, the cadre, and the make a career for myself. I start from there because I want to become a plumber. I want to become a mechanic to be able to create the industries that we're talking about. From there, after I become, after I learn, I start to have my toolbox, my toolkit, and start to give service delivery to the neighborhood, become a profession. I'm a plumber, I'm an electrician, I'm a carpenter, I'm a mechanic, I'm a painter, I'm a builder, and so on. So repairing, then I go to the market. You, each one of you, each one of us, to have a market slot, a table. Then after that, I will have my kiosk or hire a workshop and starting to manufacture the product that I want to produce. See how many points here? Two, four, six, two, four, six. Twelve points. It will never take less than 15 years. Never. So young men and women, don't think that you're being born out of your, the womb of your mother today, you become a professor tomorrow. To become a professor from the time of birth, it might take about 50 years. It might take about 50 years to become a professor. Manufacturing, then have the products, local products that you're doing, then build the commercial shops to sell your product, then build the factory, then we build the market, then we start to have this kind of uh, uh, consumption to, to satisfy our, our, our local society, then we start to improve our productivity, productivity and export our, 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 uh, our product abroad. So here, when you start exportation, that means that you started to compete from a local basis to the global market. And believe me you, that open market economy is the most destructive tools of any local economy, of any local crafts, skills, in your area. And when you go to their countries, the advanced countries, the very well developed countries, you find that they preserve this kind of skills and teach it to the children. In your country where you came from, they don't, you don't. And now hardly you can find the people who used to do the things long time ago. Copper industry, gold industry, silver industry, carpentry, and so on, and so on. Weaving and others, and so all these kind of things. Disappearing because of the open market economy. So coming back to these 18 points, to, to be able to export your goods, which you can do, will take from you at least 30 years. But if you start today, at the age of 15, 20, 25, by the age of 50, you'll be there. Not only uh, sharing, have a share in the global market, but maybe actually affecting the, the global market as well. So look after the skilled workers at this, this kind of professions. The second one is building the foundation of national agriculture, dairy products, and meat industries. The same. We learn. We learn. See? Then, if you want to become a farmer, you need the seed, the soil, the climate, and the water, and all these sort of things. It's a process. You don't put the seed on the soil to become a tree, and fruitful tree, in a month, or two months. Might take years. Might take years. Look at how long it will take to get the mango, to get the pistachio nut, to get the coconut, and to get the jackfruit, and to get the apple, plums, oranges, tangerine, and others. Years and years and years and years. So if we start there, to have the trees, Ready for us, it might take at least 10 years, or more than 10 years. But you have to produce it locally 
to be able to have a product to export it abroad and to compete in the international market and to control the international market. And from the trees, you have the production, you have the fruits or the crops that you got. Then you employ around you those kind of manual and skilled workers. Then you build farms, which can make trading, build shops, build factories, manufacturers, production, market, consumption, and exportation as well. Same process. It started locally. It started locally. You have to believe in yourself, young man and young woman, old man and old woman, housewife or unemployed, educated or non-educated. Learn something, do something, build something, believe in something, and try something and produce something. This is what we need to do on 2019, at the very beginning of this year. We raise our hope high to be able to be not only a player in the international market, but to be able actually leading the international market. The ultimate outcome of all this process is we'll build a community around the industry, the agriculture or the skilled industry. We build national industries, local industries. We have economical stability. We have our own climate, cultural, value-based, commercial, economical, religious, independent. Our climate is our climate that we create. It's not the weather. It is the climate, the philosophical climate that we live around. We preserve our national values and the culture. We become as a civilized renaissance. Our renaissance will be based on civilization, our history, our culture, our heritage, our values, our religion, our humanity, our morality. We'll be unique because we feed ourselves, we clothe ourselves, we manufacture everything locally, not to destroy the local industry and the local skills. Then after that, to become global change makers. So if we go back quickly, if we want to become global change, uh, global changes are local. This is the five steps, which you mentioned before, the five steps. This is the first step with the foundation, it's five points, because you can see it here. This is the directions of social empowerment, whether based on the agriculture or the skilled workers. And this is the skilled workers process till you become productive country, producer, exporting as well. And this, if you are a farmer, this is the same again till you become exporting all your product abroad and competing in the international market. After doing this, you'll be able to become a global change maker. This process, brothers and sisters, will not take less than 25 to 30 years of very hard work. But you have to start it today to be able to reach it before you become the age of 50 or 60. And if you want to follow what I'm saying, these are the addresses of my YouTube, all the videos on the YouTube, where's the YouTube? This one. Okay, in English and Arabic, you can join. And you can actually send me messages as much as you want. Thank you very much. And I hope that your 2019 will be more fruitful. Not gloomy, more fruitful than 2018 and 2017 and 2016. And I'll see you next Thursday, inshallah, in, in, in a surprise. Thursday, 17 January. Inshallah, on the 5th day, we will be in the 17th January. There will be a surprise Stay tuned, انتظروا يوم 17 يناير. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.